suggested to him because I said what are some what are some and we are live woo yeah bonga woo we are going partially submerged tonight folks I'm so excited welcome to Kajari's Curious Crafts and Miramore woo some friends you? I don't think so. No. He does look like Ross from Friends. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> See? I, I hope that was recorded. <laughs> was that recorded? Uh, <laughs> sailing in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Welcome to Kajari's Curious Crafts! Crafts so easy, even a monkey can do it! By the way, but I'm drinking. If you're new, not new. If you're tuning in These just now. Oh, brilliant! Look at that. These halflings were drunk when they built this. Look at that. It's so. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please clip that. Ah! <laughs> Half hour show? Half hour show? Half hour show. We're seven minutes over. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Up now? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can come up now. I'm never gonna get this thing off my butt. Uh. <laughs> yeah, probably. Ho, ho, ho! Good tidings!
of my stockings. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Kajari's Curious Crafts. Today on Aunt Anne's Tree, we are going to be finishing up on this adorable little mermaid. And first of all, thank you, Rainick, and thank you, Tigro, for the subs. I appreciate that. <laughs> I just put together that intro video, literally, I mean, I just finished uploading it to YouTube about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I was so panicked. <laughs> And then I think I messed up at the beginning here with the sound, but oh well. Um, so anyway, I, I put that together because, as you know, the last two weeks of April, Nerdsmith is um, running their annual sub drive. And it's where we encourage um, all of our friends and viewers and supporters to go over to nerdsmith.org slash support, uh, the link's below, um, to support us there. And uh, this is where I actually uh, am head, uh, sending all of my um, supporters, um, all my patrons. I've closed down most of my patron and uh, I'd rather you um, support Nerdsmith, not just because they're a great group of people, but because um, of all the extra benefits that you get, including quality, <laughs> quality <laughs> programming like you saw on that intro video so thank you all so much for doing that for me <laughs> yimer you are supposed to be in school buddy <laughs> yeah quality with air quotes <laughs> hey yimer is it spring break there must be um okay so um for this project you'll need we're finishing up but let me just go over the tools and materials um for the mermaid, you are going to need, of course, the instructions. And if you don't have them, you can go over to my Discord under the category of uh, Aunt Anne's tree. You will find the mermaid uh, pattern. And I did update it to include getting rid of the back piece, which gets rid of the, the back boobs. <laughs> I don't know. We had a boob front, and then the, the back doesn't need boobs. So uh, I'll have to actually go and fix some of these <laughs> I did already. Um, so the lines there to show, to indicate uh, one of straight across and one with uh, boobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we're not going to do Sebastian or Flounder. Well, I don't know. A crab would be cute. That would be cute. We should do a crab. I should make that pattern. I think I'll do that. Um, okay. So last week um, we finished a good bit of it, but um, we're, we went with a purple one. Now I have patterns cut out here for um, a blue one with blonde hair, a blue one with red hair, a blue one with black hair, same with the purple and the green, but I'm, I'm making this one today. And uh, the other supplies you'll need in addition to the pattern are of course the felt. And like I said, you can choose whatever color you'd like, just make sure that you have coordinating floss for the stitching and coordinating sequins and seed beads for the scales on the front of her tail. Um, you'll also need um, whatever other coat, whatever. <laughs> I'm so excited about Nerdsmith. You guys still don't know. <laughs> you'll also need felt. The oh, color. Ho, ho. <laughs> Look at you, hey, fancy pants. Wow, everybody's here today. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, you'll also need coordinating fab uh, felt for whatever color hair you decide to do. Now, I don't have it here at the table, but I introduced it last week. You can have a red headed one or a blonde. Uh, we're going to make this one with black hair because I don't, I haven't made this one yet and I'm excited about it. Um, we've also used for the body on this one, a slightly darker, sort of a cashmere cocoa color for her skin, but you can go with the, this, um, pale color here, which is really kind of close to what I look like <laughs> all throughout the year. Um, then you'll also need the felt pieces, just scraps, uh, for whatever flowers you want to put in her hair. On the one on the pattern, I've used orange and fuchsia, but as you can see, I've got some different color scraps here, orange and blue for this one, but you can use whatever colors you want for her hair. Um, you'll also need, of course, the um, um, eighth inch ribbon, and that's to make the little loop. We made that last week to go on her hair, which we sewed already. Uh, this one goes on the, it looks funny. It, that's actually turned inside out when it's turned right side in after you finish sewing it, that loop appears there. And we are gonna sew the, the um, hair around that. 
you'll also need three millimeter pearl beads and this is to go on her her necklace she's got a little pendant there you'll also need scissors and stuffing um, needles sewing needles and pins you'll also need your handy dandy sure bonder glue gun this is where uh, oh yeah we, we need to do the concave and convex thing yes we do we will do that hey Lily are you, is everyone up north on spring break this week <laughs> Um, I, this share bonder glue gun actually has um, these glue sticks. These are fabric glue sticks. I never even knew these existed. And sure bonder sent me some glue sticks, and um, this was one of the packages they sent. And I've already used them, and they are fantastic. They're perfect for um, gluing fabric pieces together, including felt. Um, you will also need stuffing, and that's for the first step, which we've already completed: stuffing the body and the tail. And uh, of course, I have my hemostats there for the stuffing purpose. So we were not gonna need those today, but I had them out just to show you. Um, we're also going to put a little bit of this gold glitter inside the flowers. It's hard to see on the, on the pattern, and I don't have a finished mermaid to show you, but um, right inside the flower pieces, uh, once they get sewn on or sewn together like this, I kind of have a little bit of gathering, we're gonna put that gold glitter in there, give them a little sparkle. Don't tell Drake he hates glitter. <laughs> oh, you're t oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that's great. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys could be here spending your spring break with me. That's awesome. Um, so let's get started. We don't need the pattern. I'll set that aside. <clears throat> we have terrible pollen down here, so please forgive me. I'm going to clear my throat probably a lot, and I have some water here. But uh, I worked outside yesterday cleaning the pollen off the front deck, and oh, I'm just my lungs are just full of it right now. Um, last week we sewed the sequins on with our seed beads and we went con, what is it? Bowl concave or convex? We have to have this conversation every time we do sequins. Um, bowl side up. <laughs> Don't unsub! <laughs> um, I, I, I won't get glitter on you, I promise, Rylan. Um, but we want both side up with the seed bead in the center, and that's we just sewed it all over there before we sewed the uh, fr the back piece and the boob, <laughs> boob front <laughs> together, and then we sewed it onto the body that we'd already previously sewn together and stuff. And actually, I did glue this. We didn't put a back piece on, or we didn't sew this because we're going to, that gets covered with the hair. We're just taking some shortcuts here, so we're not going to worry about sewing that. We just used our. Sure bonder glue gun with the fabric glue sticks to um, to, sew, to glue that together. All right, so what we're going to do today is the wig part, the hair part. Um, this yarn I have in, like I said, the different colors for the different hair colors. And I've never worked with this one before. It's the same uh, kind of look. It looks like, a, it almost looks like wool. And this is actually, I used the beige one to make my woolly sheep for the holiday season. I make a, a sheep ornament. Maybe I'll make those this Christmas. Um, but this is the black one and, and these are great because it really hides the stitching as you go. So we're just going to use, like I said, two strands of our DMC floss. You can use other floss if you like. I go with DMC. They should sponsor us too. <laughs> okay, so the way we're going to start this, this um, yarn, you can use any yarn you want, but I found this look to look the best once it's sewn onto the um, the felt it um, because it's so lumpy uh, purposefully lumpy it kind of fills it in and you don't have to use as much and it kind of hides the stitches so what we're gonna do is when we sewed the front hair piece onto the back hair piece and of course put our loop at the top here on the inside now we're gonna turn it right side in and that hides those stitches we just did a, um, a little running stitch over that we didn't really need a fancy stitch so that's gonna get covered by the by the uh, yarn. <clears throat> We're going to start off simply by putting that uh, end, which kind of gets frayed, on the inside and just, it doesn't matter if the stitches show. I'm going to have to put my glasses on in a second because you're not going to see them over that. Now I'm going to um, give that a pull. I'm going to knot that so it doesn't come out of that stitch. And of course it did because I didn't tighten my stitch. Quality shows here. Quality programming from Nerdsmith Creators. <laughs> okay. There we go. 
and put my glasses on because I'm old. There we go. All right, and I've got the sunshine coming in, so that helps a lot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by going around the outside and not um, on the outside of the wig, the hair, but we're going to um, not worry about this inside, except this very edge here, because that's the only part that really kind of shows uh, on the outside here, but we'll get that last. We'll put that on last. So let's get this sewn on around the outside here. And we're just gonna, we're gonna chat and sew. We're just gonna just put the stitches in and catch the uh, yarn as we go. These don't have to be any kind of fancy stitches, just in and out. Um, give it a little pull because that helps with that those curls like you see. And we're going to go around the crown of her head here. And then we're just going to keep going round and round. Just kind of circle around that the headpiece there. Just make sure you catch the uh, belt. It doesn't have to be, um, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to just keep circling that yarn around. Swirl it around the whole head. Can everyone hear me okay? Great quality is still a quality. That's true. As long as it's not of the whale. Non-WoW non, uh, players won't get that. Or was that EQ? All my games are, I'm getting old. All my games are running together. <laughs> we don't need more spirit gear. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? I hope it's sunny and nice where you are. Maybe not as much pollen. This is a sharp needle and I've already jabbed myself twice. Hey, did everyone like that intro video? Are there certain bits that I missed that should that should be on that intro video? I put that together just for the Nerdsmith sub drive, but uh, I think uh, Rainick's right. I should probably use it for to create a new intro video. Include my, of course, include my artists and and producer and everybody on it. But uh, what'd you think? Were there any? 45? Yeah, pure Michigan. Yuck. Well, I won't say, I won't say that it's about 80 here today. <laughs> oh, I just did, sorry. <laughs> all right, so we've gone all, almost all the way around the whole exterior part, just with these, some big loopy stitches. It doesn't really have to be perfect. As long as you kind of get every Oh, I don't know, half inch or three quarter inch as you go. And now we're going to put that yarn next to the next layer of yarn and it gets it's a little easier than going around and around. Oh, it's gonna storm, yeah. We had some storms. Actually I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow here. But we need it we need it to storm after after the pollen hits, because everything turns that that greenish yellow, and it just gets everywhere, <clears throat> like in my lungs. Fortunately, I don't have allergies, but boy, I feel sorry for anyone who has seasonal allergies for pollen, because the pollen count here in Atlanta is just atrocious. So I'm catching the, the felt as I do this. Just make sure you catch the felt, otherwise, all that stitching is for naught. So were there any, um, yeah, we should, yeah, you should, uh, you should get some help, Raina, because that's crazy. Although I think, uh, I think Del Mori does both also, so she, she, you and she should start a support group. Were there any bits missing from that or any, any, uh, memories that you have, uh, uh my longtime viewers for, uh, I know during uh, Hattober, during the uh, the month of October, we did Hattober, and and that was fun. And we had Drake wearing all sorts of hats. But before that, in my earlier shows, we didn't have producer cam, and I didn't like to be on the camera to start. That's why I had to pull those ones with uh, the real tranquil, just to get some not just my hands on the screen. <laughs> Full of pain. Oh, you didn't see it? Well, it's on YouTube. 
Also, Rylan, so I think, I don't know if I put it in my Discord, um, but I did post it on Twitter. The link to, um, or just go to my YouTube channel, it's on there. It's the next, it's the newest video. I'm gonna need more black thread in a minute. Oh, we're just sewing. I meant to make this ahead of time, and of course, I got caught up making a project for, he's not in the chat room, is he? No. Um, for Joe, I am making a, uh, a terrain piece for uh, him to take to, I think he's going to Gen Con and he's going to be doing a D&D &D game and I am making him a we did a we did a trade he, he painted some figures for me and uh, I said I'd make a 24 inch by 24 inch terrain to take to Gen Con and uh, don't tell him there's a secret there's a surprise I've added a water feature to it so I've been working on that for about a month now, trying to get it. Because that, when you work on water features, they take a long time to dry. You want to make sure they're, you want to do it in layers. Because otherwise it bows up like my, um, my rogues gallows did. I need to, uh, to redo that whole rogues gallows because of the way the, the water made the entire base kind of curl up. The water feature, because I poured it all at once. I should have done it a little bit at a time. <laughs> My little squirrel friends. And everyone make sure, remind me, I, I put it on my script, on my uh, production notes, to raid Autumn's channel today. I forgot last week and I'm just such a loser. So she's so sweet. She comes and watches. Hey, Autumn. And then I completely forgot to, because we made a we made an arrangement that she would st stream her art show right after, right after Aunt Anne's treat. And I, last week I just blipped and completely forgot. So she is following me today. I'm gonna get some more black thread. There we go. Thanks. Thanks, Rannick. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you missed it, um, this past Tuesday night, it was so late. And actually, some of you didn't miss it because I saw you on the uh, chat. It went by so fast, but I did see you guys. Um, I saw Rannick there for sure on uh, We Are Nerdsmith. Their Twitch, their, like I said, it's the uh, sub drive this, these next two weeks, last week and this coming week. Um, and I was in a D&D &D game and it was so much fun. It was so much fun. It went, it was late our, my time, 10, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. And I, I persevered for an old lady and we just had so much fun. It was a lot of theater of the mind, a lot of descriptive play. It was so much fun. It was a good mystery to solve too. Yeah, thanks Autumn. Yeah, you were there too. <laughs> yeah, I know Lily, you were there for a little bit, but uh, I know it was late. I was tired too. But um, but that's what you get when you're working with folks on the West Coast. They started at, you know, seven their time. All right, I licked the end. Of course, a little bit of D my DNA on all my projects. <laughs> But you can go to We Are Nerdsmith, not now, and watch it. It was a lot of fun. And then I am hosting, not hosting, well, I will host the channel, but I am DMing for the for the sub drive this coming Tuesday. So my, my Tuesday next week, it's going to be crazy. We're going to work on Miramore, which, by the way, I did buy more of that spray foam. And um, I'm going to do that this weekend. I'm going to spray some chunks this weekend and see what happens. Um... <clears throat> and uh, I'm I'm doing uh, Miramore Kajari's Curious Crafts on usual from seven until until nine, and then an hour later I will be DMing a a very it's going to be so much fun I can't give it away I can't say what I'm doing but it's very different and it's going to be a laugh riot I hope <laughs> come come and help me laugh at, at everybody <laughs> laugh with us oops. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the story is, is is coming together. It's not done yet. Something else I got to work on this weekend. But my players are are hyped, 
we've got a group chat going and, and they are hyped to, to do this. I've been giving them a lot of mysterious questions to answer. And they're like, what? So I'm excited about that. I know, I'm crazy. It's just for the sub drive. I wish I could get a game going. We're going around that uh, the ribbon. We're just going to put the, the yarn around that ribbon as we go. As you can see, it's slowly filling in. So glad the sunshine's coming in the window here. Or at least a little bit of sunshine. Uh, black stitching, black thread on black felt is very difficult to see unless you're in sunlight. Even in good uh, light bulbs, it's, it's still very difficult to see. But I'm just kind of making a, a loop all the way around. I could glue this with the fabric glue sticks that that uh, they sent me from Sherbonder, but um, I've never done it before with with the uh, with yarn. Never glued yarn before, and I just don't want to mess up on on this one. I want this one to look to look good. So I'm, I'm sewing it. I wonder. I will try uh, gluing it to to show you guys how it would look if you used a, a glue stick, a fabric glue stick instead. I assume fabric means any kind of uh, textile, including yarn, but we'll see. <laughs> they should totally use that, right, Nick? They should to totally use that slogan, <laughs> that testimony. <laughs> When your mermaid needs back boobs, <laughs> be sure to use your under fabric glue sticks. <laughs> oh my goodness. We didn't have a Kajari's Curious Crafts this Tuesday, a uh, little list. We just turned 10 on Sunday. And her, I'm sure you all saw on Twitter, I posted, I'm a proud mama. Her school chorus sang at the Braves game. They stood on second base and sang the national anthem. That was a lot of fun. We we had some funny quotes though because my my girls, uh, just like their father, aren't big sports ball fans. Now I'm not a sports ball fan either, but I do love the Braves and I do um, I do understand how baseball <laughs> works. So we were sitting there and Clover was to my left, and before this was before. Um, I went to go pick up a uh, little list. Oh no, it was afterward because she she was in on this too. And uh, I was explaining that uh, one of the um, the runners had gotten to first, and I was explaining. See, I turned to her and I said, "See, now the uh, the runner on first is going to try to steal second, but the pitcher is keeping an eye eye on the situation so he doesn't steal second." And I'm going on and on about how it works and why they're throwing to second every once in a while to try to or to first to try to keep that that runner on first and after about a five minute explanation she she stared at me and she said I literally have no idea what you just said <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> like oh I'm using a lot of baseball slow, low, uh, uh, word wordage <laughs> I know you gotta keep them in check can't let him run. Then I explained how he, he wasn't gonna bunt with with two outs because that would be an auto, that would be an auto out. She was just lost. <laughs> you can see I'm spiraling toward the center here. Ouch! Try to poke myself, and it's slowly filling that in. Just kind of going around and around. It's kind of getting hard to see where the pieces are left and where they're not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually not cut it because I don't want it to fray. I'm just going to run a piece down the back like this. That's why it's so neat to have this curly hair because you really cannot see the edges of that yarn. That yarn, whoopsie, got a knot. Let's, let's get that knot out of there. She said, during, the, during uh, the first inning, she said, can we go now? Because I said we weren't staying for the whole thing because I had to get back to play uh, to play D&D &D that night. And uh, 
She said, do we have to stay for the whole thing? I said, no, we'll leave after the second inning. She said, what the heck's an inning? I'm like, oh, dear. <laughs> this is not going well. There we go. And, uh, and I said, we'll go after the second inning. And she, I had to explain what an inning was. I have taken this and I have brought it in the back. This is the uh, underside. And I'm going to stitch it back here as well. And this will keep it hidden. And once we glue this onto the uh, mermaid's head, that uh, any kind of fraying that appears aft on the end of this yarn will be um, glued then. In fact, we could probably put a little dab of glue there now to keep it from uh, fraying too much and to keep it there. I'm just gonna give a, a knot here. It's kind of hard to see. I'm trying to keep it in the center of the screen here for you. There we go. And then I'm just going to give it a dab of glue. This is on the inside, so it doesn't matter if it shows. There we go. Normally, we wouldn't want that to be seen, so I would hide, try to hide the, the glue. But um, because it's on the inside, it will be hidden anyway. All right, so there is the hair. Isn't that just adorable? That'll get glued on, and this will get tucked in, and it'll kind of hide. The, uh, the uh, raw edges there. Now, let's do, with our black thread still, let's do her eyes and her mouth. Now on the pattern, I just have a little simple, it's a running stitch, but you have to go back on, on itself. And then this is just um, stitches up and down the width that you want her eyes to be. But I'll show you how to do that. Okay, and while we have the black going, because we also have to do her purple necklace but while we've got the, the black thread going all right so her her head will be kind of underneath we don't want to put her um, eyes too far up because it would be hidden by her hair so we're going to put them right here run that stitch up the back and probably right about there and then just go in and out and again it doesn't matter if it's see if they see it in the back if you see it in the back, because that's gonna get that's gonna get covered. And we're just going to, I don't know, like four stitches. Chat super oh, really? <laughs> A chat super thingy. I think he means superfluous. We do have the Kajari's Curious Craft Dictionary, right? What's an inning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the way home, I wanted to hear how the game was going, so I was listening to the radio, and uh, the announcer said, okay, we are, the score is whatever, because I think the Braves lost that game, uh, and we are in the uh, top of the fifth, <laughs> and from the backseat I hear, how many endings are there? <laughs> I said Nine? <laughs> nine! And I said, one day I'll take you guys to a double header. <laughs> and she, Clover says, what's that? I said, it's two games back to back. <laughs> she was like, how do people sit through that? <laughs> Not a baseball fan at all. It was funny. I've been a Braves baseball fan since Sid Bream and Rafael Ramirez and, oh my goodness, Mark Wohlers, Dale Murphy. Old. I'm old. I want that to be. There we go. Okay, and then that's her second eye over there. I'm doing this, like I said, I'm doing this about a foot from my face, so. Still. Oh. There we go. Okay, and then her, her, her little smile is just a little, you know. U shape under. You can make it as big or as broad or whatever as you want. And it's just a running stitch. And instead of going up, I'm going to go over and then go back like this. Oh, look, you could have a little crooked smile. You could have like a smirk. She could have a little smirk. The trick is now finding a way to get back up. There we go. All right. 
Yeah, I'm not a big sports ball person, so I watch. There's the back. We want to hide that. I watch. I don't watch any sports. I do like. I do like the Braves though. So, if I get a chance to go to the Braves game, I will. And if and if we if I hadn't had to play D and D that night uh, for the sub drive, I would we would have stayed for the whole game. Of course, Clover probably would have <laughs> grumbled the whole time, but. My brother said, give her nachos, that'll shut her up. But yeah, I should have done that. Okay, so now we're gonna get the coordinating um, from her fin, the coordinating floss right here, and we're gonna create that necklace. Now this uses a daisy chain, and I actually don't have a sample of daisy chain with me. I'll have to show you what that looks like using, um, I'll use that uh, piece of, Felt there, so you can see the diff the, the uh, how to do it um, with a, a lighter color, so you can see the thread come through. Tie that knot. Okay, so a daisy chain. I'll just cut a piece of this one off. This is that color we used. I think it's cashmere. It's the one we used for her for her skin. I'll just cut a little piece here. And actually, I think I got this at Walmart. There are only a quarter there, but it's very hard to find the good quality ones at Walmart. They don't always stock them. So if you're gonna get felt, felt at Walmart, make sure that they are thick pieces. So a daisy stitch starts with, uh, from the back. Um, well, just watch. I'm gonna pull that this way and then hold it and I'm going to go back to the same hole that I just came out of but I'm gonna go about an eighth inch up and I'll bring that up to the camera hopefully it's not doing its there can you see that okay and I'm gonna pull that with that thread caught in there okay and then Give it a gentle pull, not too tight. And it looks like that. And then I'll go through it again and do the same thing and continue to make this little daisy chain. Like that. And just keep going. And that's how you make a daisy chain. I'm just gonna snip that. And now we're gonna make it on our mermaid. Okay, so again, it doesn't matter that we're starting in the back because uh, this will be covered with her hair. In fact, we don't have to make the daisy chain all the way around. We can start right about here in the back. All right, so we'll make one at the edge of her neck like that, and then we can go around the front. Just in case it shows. But I don't think it will. I think we're going to get that the glue all the way there. Now, remind me when we get to the center to thread the uh, pearl. Because you know me, I'll get distracted and completely forget to do that. I love the spring and summer here in Atlanta, except for the pollen. Our school system ends very early here. Well, we start early, too. But uh, we start 1st of August, if not July 31st, some years. And um, we get, this is the fun time. This is the, this is the approach to, to summer. We really enjoy it. Okay, I've gotten to the edge, my daisy chain. <laughs> yeah, it's really hot here, but we have the AC on most of the time, so we're, we're cool. Okay, so we're gonna get a pearl out, and I forgot to tell you to use a, a beading needle. So I don't know if this is gonna fit through. I think it will, because this is a pretty big, there we go. And we're gonna just, like usual, I always like to double and triple small beads. These aren't meant for children, for young children. Uh, these ornaments, they are meant uh, not as toys. Um, but I always make sure that I 
double and triple reinforce any small parts just in case because sometimes I just can't resist playing with them. So now I'm going to go back to the stitch over here on this side and continue going underneath. I'll go back through the felt, not the bead. And that's where I'll continue my uh, daisy stitch. This one's a little difficult to do because you got to get in there around the bead, but you can do it. We'll make a tiny one there. And then just continue around to the back. If you forget to put the, the, the uh, pearl on, you can always add it later. It's, it's not that difficult to add it later. Just put your needle in through the back here, poke it through, sew it three, three times, two or three times to keep it as secure as possible, and then tie it off in the back. Easy peasy, if you forget. It's a lot easier to do to to add that back in than it is to do those uh, ribbon loops that I always seem to forget. Okay, and then we'll do one last one toward the back and then just make a knot. I'm going to actually go through here and again and knot it up. And then I'm going to hide this thread like I always do by just poking it through and then if you give a little tug as you cut close to the felt, it'll disappear into the into the body. Okay, so we have her little face, and she's got her little necklace on. Now we just need her hair, and we are done. No, we're not done with that or flowers. Then we'll be done. Okay, so I'm going to test the hair before I start gluing, and I'm going to make sure that it doesn't show any of the felt uh, the felt in the back, and it doesn't, because I'm going to squeeze that in there like that, and I'm going to uh, glue that on with the my what? Sure, bonder glue gun. <laughs> no, they don't line up. We had ours um, on March 30th, starting March 29th, 30th. We went to um, to Florida for um, their Uncle Jamie's wedding. So we spent our spring break in Florida. And actually, Clover learned how to a little bit drive the golf cart because when we go back in September, she will be legally allowed to drive the golf cart. I'm just going to put the glue in the head part, and the reason why is A, I don't want the glue to show, and B, I can always flip this back on the back side and add it there, because as you can see, it does not dry clear, so you don't want your glue gun to, your glue to show. So I'm going to give this a little bit of a squeeze here. I've got a new stick in there, so it's causing it to... Um, that on like that. It's going to be hot, so careful. You don't need a lot, but I am going to do the back because I don't want that flipping up like that, giving away our, our secrets of not finishing the stitching. <laughs> okay, and then, this is easier now, I can simply put some glue here. I'm pushing it in with my chin if you're wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't want to get it too close to the edge because you might be able to see that from the front. Okay, and then there we go. I am going to put some here and here and just tuck this in a little bit like that. It kind of hides it a little bit. It makes it look like it's cascading off her shoulders instead of being so, so straight down. But I'm going to put that on the inside and then, and then use my hands to, uh, to bring it in. So I'm going to put it on the edge of her necklace on the other side, like that, and then just give it a squeeze like that. And there we go. There we go. Now we just have to add her little flowers. Now I made the blue one a little big, so I'm going to, I'm going to trim that. And if you want to, you can add some more. 
And I think I need to add a little bit more glue on the inside here. Again, this the fabric ones do not dry clear. Actually, no, no glue sticks really dry very clear. You'll always see it on felt. So um, be very, um, very cautious when you're using that. There's a full head of hair. All right. And now let's get her flowers. This one, I think the, the orange one looks looks really good. I like the way it contrasts with the with the fuchsia. But this one's kind of big, so I'm going to trim that down a little bit. And the pattern has it the size that I actually did cut. So that's more the, the size you want, but that is kind of hard to do. And I kind of went a little nuts with this one. So I'm just going to go, I'm just going to make this one a little bit smaller. Just kind of going around the same the same one. This is the same kind of um, pattern I use for the hula dolls in their hair. My gingerbread hula dolls. They don't have to be perfect. They just need to be um, have a little bit of a curly curly Q shape to make give them the appearance of sort of an exotic uh, tropical flower. There, that's a little better. Okay, so we're gonna take coordinating. Um, normally, we would take coordinating felt. I mean, floss to do that, but we don't need to because we're covering it with this. So I'm gonna use black. You don't need a lot, but this doesn't look like it's going to work. I'll try it. This might not be enough, but you don't need a lot. That. This one's easy. All you need to do is make a few stitches around the middle, like you're making a circle with a running stitch. In and out. And then we're just going to gather. See how I've made the in and out stitches like that? we're just going to gather those and then back out through where you started and then give it a poke and gather it and see you got a little flower I'm gonna hold that tight with the gathering and knot it I did have enough I had enough thread for that that's good and again we're gluing this on so you don't have to worry about anything fraying but just in case give it a double knot to the blue one and you can have three flowers on there if you'd rather or, or one you don't have to uh, limit yourself just uh, limit it to your imagination and your felt supply I have tons of felt especially little scraps I save everything I know I shouldn't I'm never gonna use half of them okay now you could also, if you have a, a extra Sure Bonder glue gun, which I do, but I actually didn't plug it in and it has green in it right now. Um, sure Bonder also sent me some glitter glue sticks. So instead of using uh, glitter paint for this next step, you could use the glitter glue sticks because they look just as nice. But I uh, did not plug that one in. Okay, the other reason I use the black is it will, uh, anything, any of the stitching or thread that sticks out will get hidden in the hair. So there's the flowers. And I'm going to glue them in her hair. On this side, probably the blue one. What do you guys think? Blue one on top or blue one underneath? What do you guys think? Orange on top, like that? Yeah, I like that one because the blue one's still a little bit bigger. Okay, so next to the um, the loop, which is where you're going to put that ornament hook to hang her, wherever you want to hang her on a tree or palm tree, probably would be the best bet. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put a little dab of the glue, and you don't have to use fabric glue for this. I um, when I made these. Prior, I have uh, in the past I have just used um, regular glue sticks but I've got that one here and loaded so I'm just gonna hold that in there like that I'm 
gonna leave it squished like that so I can get the second one in. Then I'll fluff them out later. All right, and I'll put the, the dot of glue right there at the thread, at that point. Put that right next to it. There. Little tropical flowers in her hair. That didn't. There, that's better. I even did my nails like the sea. Of course I did that for Mimsy. I had that pale pink for the wedding on. I had to change that. Okay, so now um, we're gonna use our fabric paint and this is glitter. It's gold glitter. You can use silver if you'd rather. And I'm gonna get a piece of paper. Um, I have had this forever and I wanna make sure that when I squirt it out, it doesn't all over. That would be bad. I'm just gonna take a sheet of paper <clears throat> and um, make sure I'm gonna test it and that's fine you'll see you'll see on there that it has a bit of um, some opaqueness to it that will all dry clear when it's on the, on the pro uh, project okay so that's on there and we're just gonna put a little bit of that glitter do a little dot or a big dot you could use the tip to spread it around get more glitter everywhere unless you're Drake or Rylan apparently you don't like glitter <laughs> And it, like I said, it has that opaqueness to it, but that will dry clear and then it'll be glittery. Like I said, I don't have one done though, so I can't show you, I can't prove to you that that's what it looks like. If you do get a jam in your uh, gl glitter paint, you can just use a fine um, sewing pin or needle to, um, to get it out, but then again, but then when you're done with that test, do test it again on paper because you don't want a big glob coming out. Okay, so it doesn't look great now, but it will. It will dry clear and it'll be very glittery. As there you can see it in the sun kind of there in the light. And there it is. There is our little mermaid. The purple version. I have, um, like I said, I have fabric cut out to make all sorts of varieties of them blue one with black hair I mean I've cut out a bunch of them and this is the first year I've made the fuchsia one though and this is the first year I've also made ones with black hair so I'm excited about having those in my Etsy shop hey if you become a, a nerdsmith subscriber guess what there are going to be uh, there's a discount code for my Etsy shop if you become a nerdsmith subscriber I bet you didn't know that. So that's a bonus for becoming a Nerdsmith subscriber. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Thank you for um, spending some of your spring break with me, Lily and Yimer. And thank you all for joining me. Don't forget, after the stream, it's almost two o'clock. We are going to raid Autumn. We are gonna raid, I, I can never pronounce her the um, her screen name correctly. It's. La Salanta Ariel, I think. <laughs> but I'll have the I'll have the link up on the screen on my thank you screen, and then we are going to raid her stream. So this is your warning, La Salanta Nariel, <laughs> to get over there and uh, and get ready because we are going to do that. I'm going to get the get over to my page real, real fast so I can do that. So I'm going to my channel right now and mute it so it doesn't come through the screen. It is muted. And then we are going to raid if you're ready. So tell us when you're ready, we're gonna do that. But I will put it on the thank you screen. And again, thank you so much. And I will see you on uh, tomorrow night at seven for Three Sheets One Shot. We're gonna hopefully finish up. If not, it'll just be part four of uh, Aboard the Diamond's Light when we're inter introducing a, an airship a dirigible, a steampunk to our uh, our campaign, and that's exciting. So join me tomorrow night at 7 p.m. for that, and then Kajari's Curious Crafts, of course, will be back on Tuesday, and I'm gonna have some of that spray foam done ahead of time. Uh, I think I also might have the um, the acrylic cut prior, because that has to be done outside. I, I kind of read about that, so. Okay, let me put it on the thank you screen and mute myself, and then we will head over 
and get ready to raid Autumn. Thanks again, guys. Good night.